Business Brain, episode 521 for Casual Friday, February 2nd, 2024. Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Business Brain, or welcome to Business Brain. If this is your first time hearing us, we are the show where we take an idea or three, we dissect it, we analyze it, we use it to tune our business brains, each and every one of us, every single time we get together. Sponsors for this episode include gusto.com slash business brain, where you go to get three months of payroll benefits, admin, and more totally free. And go squared away.com slash contact. This is where you can learn about squared away, which empowers highly educated military spouses to become your trusted remote executive assistants. They all work on U.S. hours. We'll talk more about all of this in depth in a few minutes. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. I'm Shannon Jean. I'm still out here in California. We're getting ready for the big atmospheric river, El Nino explosion wow. that's supposed to start late tonight. And I find it fascinating that even the weather has like branded itself and marketing oh, yeah. terms and all the it, it, it it's crazy but uh yeah happy friday glad to be here um, branding the weather yeah i think i think bodhi our, our guest from wednesday would be really uh like he would be a good person to have branding the weather he yeah he he innately understands it's a lot it. of these things having that conversation with him on wednesday i hope you folks enjoyed it and if you haven't heard it yet uh go back and episode 520 and if you did hear it, let us know. Feedback at businessbrain.show. We want to know what you thought because that's yeah. our first interview in a while. Yeah, and, and I, I, I think it's. I wanted to chat about that. You know, our first interview and, and kind of break down his. I love his concept. You know, uh, he didn't. Instead of going to work for some larger company, he had had some internships. He's a young guy, twenty four. Here they stepped in and bought a, a dumpster. You know, rental company. 10, uh, 10 dumpsters, one truck kind of thing. 20 dumpsters, one 20 truck. 20 dumpsters, one truck. It took a and, lot to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then built it up and this kind of thing. But along the way, he started, uh, he'd been in digital marketing before and he, you know, uh, started sharing the process up on the X platform. He may be on other platforms I'm, I'm not aware of, but I followed him on X. Yeah. And, and yeah, then he started talking about his digital marketing. So kind of bringing that together where, look, here's my business I'm running and I, my other company that I'm using to grow that business, you can also hire, you know, yeah. use our services. And, and it's just so um, complimentary. Um, I read another, you know, post to a guy that I follow the other day, talked about being in the roofing business. He, you know, he's a flipper buying, fill, uh, you know, fixing up houses and flipping them, but having a, uh, a roofing business has helped his flipping business tremendously because he's like a couple times he's like just in the last two weeks we've gone out the roof isn't even worth fixing and we wound up buying the house oh. and, right and so it's kind of similar to to Bodie's you know this I rent dumpsters and then striker digital so he's able to drive all this business to his the rental you know dumpster business and then sell that the services that you're doing to grow it you sell it to everybody else so I, I'm, I really respect that that uh that flywheel concept that we were kind of talking yeah. about in, in yeah. between shows. No, I I thought it was fascinating. I mean, even just his comment about, oh yeah, I put these outbound links in. And it's like, oh, I never thought about outbound links is good for SEO. I'm terrible at SEO, so that's yeah, me too. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the, you know the one thing that he talked about that is just critically important is if if you're not really in control of I mean, if you, especially if you're in the service business, but really any business, your Google My Business page is just the gateway for you. Yeah. How people are searching because they're searching for things like uh, dumpster rental near me or, you know, uh, deck build deck contractor near me or phone repair near me or whatever. And, and Google is using all that data in your Google My Business to route that they they want the most relevant information to come up for their their users and all those reviews that you've got and pages and products that you've described in Google my business that just has to be a focus um of uh, for you to be successful I think I agree I yeah I agree yeah it's it's um 
Yeah. Do you have, so have you used this for like the, the businesses you have? Do you yeah. use Google yeah. My Business Pages? Oh, yeah. 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 And it's gotten better and better. It used to be really like for a long time before phone systems got kind of cloud-based, you know, you, they would have to call you to confirm your phone number. But if you had like a big PBX system, oh yeah, well, you Good didn't luck. necessarily answer the phone, right? It just right. kind of got routed. So we would have to unplug plug a regular phone in, do it, do it really <laughs> quick, and then plug the phone system back in. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's one of the keys to the kingdom. You know, um, it's, I think, the best place to uh, send people to leave reviews for you. Uh. Uh, I think it's a great way we started... We used to give bonuses based on every five star review that a, a like a technician got. Yep. So if you got a five star review that mentioned your name, you know, we you got a fifty dollar bonus. Yeah. Yeah. I've 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 seen I've like encountered that. businesses like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's, yeah. it's huge because it just continues to drive and all that SEO stuff that you're directly in control of on on your website and building out these pages, these these near, you know, with uh geographical urls very important yeah yep. um, but letting getting all that good content content up on the your google my business page is is crucial and and i'm shocked some places you still search it It'll, google will have it up but they're like oh uh claim this this listing yeah. is this you you know so there's a lot of people there and that's a big opportunity as well like Go like brody or Bodie talked about you know he bought this business from an older gentleman yeah. 65 year old i think the guy's probably still running things on a fax machine or you know his his oh phone, yeah right? well you know i like i I, yeah. I think we talked about it on the show i was like half way down the path of looking at this dumpster rental business what here, six months yeah. ago or something yeah, yeah right here yeah that. and a guy yeah. saying i don't have anybody to take it over i i don't correct my kids don't want it i gotta find somebody i'm tired of it that is you know the silver tsunami yeah you know, that you hear about a lot of um older business owners that you know maybe their business isn't quote good enough to find a broker or whatever yeah no this wouldn't right? have ever gone yeah. through a broker it would have no. it would have been half a million bucks like yes i think would have would have taken the whole thing from him yeah and, and you probably could have made that back in the first, you know, two years or 18 yeah, months. The, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the biggest problem was he wouldn't share. He wanted to sell it based on his um, actual cash flow, which makes perfect sense, it except his, his tax returns yes, yes. didn't show his actual cash flow, right? That's He's like, well, problem. I can't really show you that because yeah. a lot of it, I mean, in so many words, goes straight into his pocket because it's mm -hmm. a cash-based business. And I was like, well... Okay, but like, I yeah. can only pay what you like, what you can prove. Yeah, you have to do that, <laughs> that and that's a huge. We could, uh, and maybe we should talk a little bit more about this. This concept of under the table and cash and that kind of thing. I think that's a good discussion. All right, folks. Ever feel like you need an extra eight hours in your day? You know, to tackle that ever-growing inbox or plan events that seem to multiply like rabbits? Yeah, managing a business can feel like herding cats while juggling fire sticks. And let's talk about that work-life balance. It's like trying to walk a tightrope while juggling your laptop, phone, and a cup of overpriced coffee. Spoiler alert, the coffee always spills. But fear not, fellow entrepreneurs and charmed life seekers, we've got the magic wand for you, our sponsor squared away. Imagine a team of super skilled, highly educated military spouses transforming into your executive assistants. It's like finding a genie in a bottle, but for your inbox and schedule. I'm all in on this concept, right? Military spouses talk about drive and dedication. They're the unsung heroes of multitasking. Squared Away assistants are like your personal business wizards. They swoop in, manage the chaos, keep projects on track, and deal with those sneaky little tasks that eat away at your day. And they do it all while you focus on, well, being amazing. Plus, they're available across all U.S. time zones, working as W-2 employees, not contractors. Custom plans? You bet. They're tailoring superhero capes to fit your business perfectly. Are you ready to join the League of Extraordinary Entrepreneurs? Well, I highly recommend checking out Squared Away today. Unleash the power of efficiency at GoSquaredAway.com slash contact. That's GoSquaredAway.com slash contact. Here's to living that charmed life, folks, and our thanks to Squared Away for sponsoring this episode. 
All right. Now, ever feel like payroll and HR are those monsters under your entrepreneurial bed? You know, the ones that go boo every time you think about W-2s, 1099s, or health benefits? Well, it's time to turn on the light and chase those monsters away with our sponsor, Gusto. Imagine a world where payroll is as easy as ordering your favorite takeout, where health benefits and 401ks fit into your budget like a dream pair of shoes on sale. Gusto is like that fairy godmother for your small business, turning pumpkins into carriages, or in our case, HR nightmares into delightful, easy-to-use software. And the best part, it's all accessible online from your cozy home office or while sipping a margarita, even on the beach. And get this? Unlimited payroll runs for one monthly price, no hidden fees, no surprises. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, but for payroll. Gusto automatically handles all those tricky federal, state, and local payroll taxes. And if you've got a tough HR question, their certified experts are like your personal business Yodas. Don't just take my word for it. Three out of four customers say they run payroll in 10 minutes or less. That's less time than it takes to make a cup of coffee these days. So... For all you entrepreneurs looking to live that charmed life, here's your magic spell. Business Brain listeners get three months free when you run your first payroll. Just visit gusto.com slash business brain. That's gusto.com slash business brain. Turn your payroll and HR into a fairy tale today. And our thanks to Gusto for sponsoring this episode. Yeah, so let's dig into that a, a little bit, Shannon. Yeah, I, you know. There's always this temptation. I like cash just as much as the next guy. Yes. Um, but especially if you're starting out and if you're even in service business, um, to do things, you know, either well, a couple different things, do things under the table or maybe you're getting paid off the books or maybe you're paying folks as to be in their contractors when they really should be employees. And they're, you know, if, if you looked at it, they, they really would. They, yeah, they would cl- qualify as employees. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's a yep. dangerous thing because they're, you know, states and even the IRS are all over that. Um, especially it, now. Yeah, yeah, especially now. But it really hurts you in the long run uh, because it holds you back in so many ways. And your example of the older guy that trying to sell the business here, yeah, he's probably led a great life. But because you didn't go, you know, make it official, if you will, it, it he just he couldn't sell it because half the revenue or whatever just went to his pocket and yeah that sounds great and i'm living off the cash i don't pay as much taxes well not only it's you know illegal but yeah uh, yeah yeah exactly you know, let's just put that there, one on there i there, hate there, following there, rules too but it is, is against the law it's against the law and and we yep. don't recommend that obviously here but it um not only that but it if your employees find out about it, it makes you look terrible. And if you pay, like I did some consulting just recently with a company in New York and just a great guy, um, you know, in the jewelry business and he had all these guys working on stuff and everything. And I was trying to help him figure it out. And I was like, this just doesn't add up. Like I can't, I can't make these numbers work that you're giving me. And I don't know how to help you grow if I can't understand where the money's coming in, where it's going out. Yeah. And it turns out he's paying you know, probably half of his uh, technical staff or designers or whatever, they're getting paid under the table. And, uh, you know, not that he was, the revenue, most of it was coming in and being reported, but it was still some off the books. And I just said, listen, uh, John, not his real name. I said, John, you're not going to be able to take this business to another level if you're operating in this manner. Right. Because, your employees think less of you. He's it like, yeah, keeps you they, small. Yeah, it, keeps you small. It and, does. And, yeah. Yep. And and he's like, well, my employees love it. They get paid more and they don't pay taxes. I said, yeah, but not only it's eventually we'll we'll catch up with them as well, right? Yep. Uh, you need yeah, to build. Even though you're not reporting your employees' income, and the, and there are laws that that oh, you yeah. are in, in violation of. There, your employees then have the choice as to whether or not they report their income, but they are obligated by law yeah. to do that. Yeah. So even though you're not forcing their hand in this, you are, they are choosing almost at your recommendation or by following your lead to also break the law like yeah. individually. It's a, it's a bad framework. It's just and bad. It, it takes and look, away, I get it. Like when yes. I've run, cash-based business 
or, or a business that has some cash element, right? You know, and it's less and less these days, although a dumpster business, I can see where that, you know, it's, it's more of it there still. But, you know, it's tempting to say, okay, well, let me take some of this and, you know, just stash it in the drawer for a rainy yeah. day. If that some of this is, I mean, none of it is legal, right? But, you know, if, yeah. if you're doing it with 2% of your revenue, 1% of your revenue, half a percent of your revenue, first of all, the IRS probably won't care, but don't take that advice from me. Yes, do like, not. you know, and also it's not going to significantly affect your books in a way that you can't show where the money comes from to in an investor, a yeah. bank from whom you want a loan, Correct. right? Or a buyer. There's plenty so, of other ways to live. There's other a ways to live the charmed life. And right? we've discussed it for nine yeah. years. Uh, and and it's it's kind of short or not kind of it's short sighted. Yes. And it even with back, my music business, right? Yeah. Like I mean, I I play I play the drums. People pay me in cash most of the time. I as much as I can remember, and that's not yes. me being coy and cute, that it's me being literal. I go back through my calendar and I report a hundred percent of that income. Why? Because I almost always, at least, you know, three out of every five years, I wind up spending more right. on my music habit right. than I make. Yeah. Yeah. And so it all comes out in the wash. Yeah, that's right. It makes you look shady and your yeah. employees pick up on it and yep. they don't trust you. And, 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 you know, if you have a dispute and somebody gets upset, boy, oh, forget you know, it, man. That you're you can be in just so much trouble. So don't do it. Just don't do it. And uh, you know, bring it in. Uh, you know, in, through your regular channels, so you can show that income, and then focus on okay, what write offs do we get, and how do we, uh, you know, bring in that revenue, but then lower either your personal, you know, adjusted Tax gross burden. income, yep. or you know, okay, we need to go buy some more vehicles and we've got this and work with your accountant, your financial planner to be prepared to take advantage of all the, the thousands of tax advantages of owning a business and owning real estate that are, uh, you can, you know, bring into your life. You don't need yeah. to, to keep cash. I, I think it's, uh, and, no, and look at the difference between like this old guy that approached you and then a, a young guy like Bodie who's building this business yep. and it's, it's generate doing really doing well enough to where, okay, now I'm going to hire another driver. I've got two drivers. Now mm -hmm. I'm home and on board. Maybe, well, let's start another business. And you know, that's what it should happen. It should flywheel that, off. That's what you want is yes. that flywheel. Yeah. And if, yeah. if you know, I like my flywheel is so dependent on People coming to me with ideas and doing things like I'm, I, I'm the king of business partnerships, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think most of those people would not come to me if I had a no, reputation as being not. somebody that broke the tax law. Yes. Like, yes. I, like, like you got it. You know, someone that understands the tax law has learned how to benefit from the law that exists. Yeah. Like those things are great. Someone who breaks the law no, that good. at yeah. the at best that's going to attract a different type of partner Not, yeah, that I don't want. don't want. No, I don't. Yeah. 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 So it's a it's a there's a tough topic for Casual Friday, but you know, just <laughs> there, there's I think it's perfect there, for Casual yeah, there's Friday. There's so many other business or benefits that you can focus on. Don't yeah. worry about doing things under the table, yeah. off the books, two two separate you know, books, all that. It, it's I mean, just a you recipe might, like, for disaster. Like you might, especially if it's a hobby that's turning into a business, there, there might be a period of gray area that, that winds up in retrospect, having been off the books. Fine. Whatever. Y you know, yeah, but like, yeah, like, I, it, like taking my, like playing the drums. Were there times where I got paid and just didn't report any income or expenses? Of course. Of course. Yes, it, of you course. know, but once I started treating it seriously, it was like, well, I, it's actually better if I just do this all yes. above board yep. because now I get to, I get the benefits of tracking all of this, the way that I'm and reporting it all the way Absolutely. I'm reporting it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Uh, feedback at businessbrain.show. Tell us, you know, share your stories, what works, what doesn't. Um, come up and tell us what you thought of the interview with Bodie from uh, I Rent Dumpsters on the X platform. And uh, if you think there's somebody we should talk to on the show, 
Give us yeah, all let us know. Yeah, feedback at businessbrain.show. Make sure to check out our sponsors. Of course, go squaredaway.com slash contact and gusto.com slash businessbrain. You can always get the links for them and everything else we talk about at businessbrain.show. Keep living that charm life. We'll see you next week.